day two of a two-day installation by Penrith Solar Centre. Day one was clearer weather and the team managed to install 19 kilowatts of solar panels. Today the team are running the cables for the solar to the two Tesla Powerwall 3 batteries. This home is brick veneer, so for the neatest installation, we're utilizing rear entry from the switchboard and gateway to the Tesla batteries. <laughs> Sounds like you're hitting one of these like um, braces, the metal braces. But... The team are using yellow tongue to feed the cables inside the brick cavity. Set back up before it starts to rain. It's been raining on and off all day, and the team is able to continue working on the battery under a tarp keeping dry throughout the day. Using the Tesla Dolly, the manual handling of the battery is greatly reduced, improving the safety of the install team and the battery during installation. The Dolly has disc brakes to control the speed of the 130 kilogram battery and make it easy to maneuver and control through different terrain. And a drill driver can be used to raise and lower the battery with ease and precision, making it much easier on the body to maneuver the battery in position and get the neatest finish possible. How's your cable as well? Cable's fine. No, go up a bit, go up a bit. We've gone down to the top. Yep. When the floor's flat, so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it, cause it ang kicks, cause it angles, the floor's angling down slightly. So when we push the top in, it was right. Yep. Then the bottom is just out a little. It's a 32 gland cause this Cori will fit in yep. inside it. Yep. So it just creates a bit of a better seal. Like you can do a, a 25 and adapter, but being closer to the wall, it just looks better once you do that. So we'll just come down. Got a T piece for the drain, and then out of that, we'll just quarry straight in there and then yep. terminate in. Put a bit of quarry onto that one, just out, slide it through the wall, and yep. it's ready to go. Job's done, yeah. Pretty wow. much. You can turn the switch on the side on yep. and do the update without having power connected no to it at all. No, yeah. That's, yeah. That's really so good. we'll do it on the master one. Yep. Um, once it's on the wall, I'll start the update on that then. Um, and let it do its thing. So then by the time we're done and we turn it on, it should just be connect to it, press a couple of settings, yep. turn it on, give it five minutes for it to do its tests we gotta do. And yep. See, job done. We're not gonna sign that so we can guide it on. No. So what we're doing right now is terminating an RJ45 plug um, to plug into this to one of these terminals down here. Um, so basically it'll just plug in here, plug in on the other side, and then they talk to each other. So then they, that's just how they communicate. Brush as you can with your mm -hmm. thing, and then you just cut it. Flush along the edge of that. Mm -hmm. And then this will just click. Clicks in and then you crank it. And then, there. Go in that way. Yep. And then you... Pull it out. So now it's crimped in there, and this is pushed in, which is holding the cable in place. 
Yep. So as you look, you can you should be able to see pretty much all the way through there. Every cable's got a little piece coming through it, okay. and then that will just plug in there. Mm -hmm. runs from here through the gateway yep. and back to here so that's how you get your, the consumption monitoring. Yeah. So that's really the only thing that's changed, we just added one switch and removed your old solar rate. So 